Hello students, welcome into this explainer video. So we will discuss about the sustainability in the hospitality industry and the, under this course or subject environmental science. So for the introduction, solid waste refers to the various varieties of old and used articles which are discarded and thrown away after use. It is commonly known as trash, garbage, refuse or rubbish. Some of the items that we no longer need or have any usage of in the future fall into the category of solid waste and we tend to dispose them. So the pollution is the introduction of harmful or poisonous contaminants into the natural environment. Therefore, solid waste pollution is defined as the introduction of the items that we no longer need into the natural environment. So solid waste pollution uh, with improper disposal methods can increase the risk of negative health effects in human and accelerate the destruction of the environment. So the environmental impacts of the waste. So the landfills sites, just like for this example, for the disposal of waste materials by a burial and it remains the most common method of organized waste disposal. So burying rubbish in landfill sites can be a dirty and wasteful business. Some of the waste takes a long time to de decompose and during the process it may generate methane gas which is explosive and contributes to the greenhouse gases so the poor usually have to borne the way i mean the many burdens associated with landfills as they are more likely to live near these badly managed rubbish dumps now let's proceed to the waste in the hospitality industry so the hospitality industry constitutes one of the most energy and resource intensive branches of the tourism industry. So the top priority in the hospitality industry is to maintain high guest satisfaction without sacrificing comfort and service. Therefore, there is a great concern that any environmental improvements or conservation methods implemented will not negatively affect guest satisfaction. So the modern guest wishes to feel that his or her actions are in environmentally responsible. So waste in the hospitality industry can be classified into biodegradable waste and non-biodegradable waste. So biodegradable waste are waste which can be broken down easily such as food waste and non-biodegradable waste are ways which cannot be broken down such as plastic glass and metal in addition hotels are produced biological waste known as human waste now why should hotels become more sustainable hotels motels and all various forms of accommodation comprise a large sector of the travel and tourism industry and it has been shown that these various forms of accommodations have the highest negative influence on the environment. On average, a hotel guest generates approximately 1 um, kilogram of waste per night and about more than half of it is in paper, plastic, and cardboard. Um, with an increase in average occupancy rate in hotels around the world there is a need for hotels to reduce their impact on the environment so any item thrown away whether it is used plastic bag or a packet of crackers past its expiry date is a waste of resources and when it is not disposed of correctly can lead to grave environmental consequences so reducing waste means there will be less impact on the environment. So less usage of resources and less consumption of energy and water which will lead to the cost saving. So for the recommendations, 
waste reduction tactics in the hospitality operations. So some waste reduction tactics hotels can adapt include purchasing items in bulk, outsourcing, and avoiding bottled water. So by purchasing items in bulk, it can create less waste or eliminate waste before it is created. Thus, it will lead to less creation of pollution and saving of natural resources. This can be done by working together with suppliers and encouraging suppliers to reduce some packaging or change to reusable packaging whenever possible. An example of purchasing items in bulk would be to purchase cleaning materials in consecrating from and mixing it in the hotel. And for toiletries, hotels can supply guests with liquid soaps and shampoos in refillable ceramic containers instead of offering individual toiletries. And also outsourcing can be an alternative for hotels to reduce waste and cut cost. Services such as laundry that require an important capital expenditures can be outsourced especially in small hotels where resources are limited. And also bottled water can also be avoided in hotels as it's expensive and wasteful and has many environmental impacts. So bottled water produces up to 1.5 million tons of plastic waste per year. It requiring up to 180 million liters of oil per year to produce. So plastic waste represents a great rest to marine life as birds and fishes mistake garbage for food so plastic waste will be around for a long time due to its slow decay rate so now we will discuss discuss about the strategic approach first is reduce or reduce hotels can reduce its waste generated by reducing laundry and newspapers distributing on or a paper usage so by reducing laundry not only the hotels save water and energy but there is also a reduction in the usage of detergent and bleach so according to the u.s national association of institutional linen management three dollars to four dollars per day per room it also estimated that hotels, hotels can save up to $1.50 per day per day and per room by requesting guests to not get freshly laundried sheets and towels during each day of their stay. So reduction of newspapers distribution can be done by only providing newspapers in central areas such as the lobby. So if guests want to deliver to the room, they can request for it during the check-in process. So it was estimated that, example, in Marriott International Hotel, save 8 million newspapers annually when they stop delivering newspapers to every guest room. So reducing paper usage can be done by replacing toilet rolls only when the dispenser are almost empty. So if the hotel's policy is to replace the half-used toilet rules, these toilet rules can be used in employee restroom or donated to shelters. So by installing hand dryers in public areas instead of placing paper towels in toilets can also help to reduce the usage of paper. Now let's proceed to the another strategic approach, the reuse. Reusing an item um, keeps the material in its original form and uses uh, uses the item over and over again for the same or different purposes so it is able to reduce the solid waste produced some of the methods hotels can practice are to reuse textiles like this containers or bottles and glasses so damaged textiles such as uniforms or linens or torn bed sheets can be converted into useful items such as cleaning rugs. Also, hotel and restaurant operators can choose 
from a wide range of options when they purchase and dispense beverages. Instead of disposing the bottle beer after use, the bottle can be reused again, thus reducing their solid waste contribution. Just for, like for example here, this is a bottle beer and it can also be usable for a decoration in your hotel or any establishment. And lastly, one strategic approach is recycle. Recycling is a process of breaking down an item into its basic parts and making a new product out of it. So hotels should implement recycling programs for their guests and employees so that employee in the property can play a part to recycle. Uh, this can be done by placing a recycle bins just like here in the hotel lobby for um, I mean to encourage guests to recycle so recycling can also be helpful to conserve natural resources saves energy and reduce greenhouse gases and pollution that results when scrap materials are substituted for primary raw materials and also um, another strategic approach to reduce the waste is that the employee should engage to implement the proper usage or disposal of the waste. So one of the key components of a successful recycling campaign when it comes to hospitality industry is the engagement of the employees. Even the best environmental policy does not help much if employees do not understand the meaning and goals behind it and do not help to attain goals. So employees need to have the proper skills, knowledge, motivation, and awareness if they are expected to achieve and implement certain initiatives. So they need to have the proper skills, knowledge, and motivations and awareness. Therefore, environmental training should be conducted regularly and made enjoyable so as to involve and motivate staff to achieve the best result. So environmental training could include the topics such as uh, waste management, um, introducing the importance of reducing, reusing, recycling to staff, and motivating them to give good suggestions. And also, an illustration created by Green Star, one of the United States of America's largest recycling companies, provide 10 ways to increase employees' engagement in recycling. So the top 10 ways are communicate clear objectives, educate employees, find a champion, set goals, monitor progress, make it convenient, incentives, um, take the extra step, purchase, recycle, and maximize your program. And for the conclusion, with improper disposal methods, solid waste pollution can increase the risk of health effects in human and accelerate the destruction of the environment. So some of the environmental impacts um, of waste discussed including a burying of rubbish in landfill and sending the waste to developing countries like China. So being one of the most energy and resource ex exhaustive industry, there ought to be a greater emphasis on hotels to reduce impact on the environment. Some of the measures hotels can adapt include recy recycling their mattresses, donating discarded soap, and installing new mixed vacuum toilet. So waste reduction um, tactics that can be adapted in the hospitality operations include purchasing items in bulk and outsourcing. So these tactics help reduce the amount of waste produced or eliminate them for, before they are created and distributed to cost saving. So reusing items and implementing recycling programs are more options for hotels to prevent solid waste pollution. So most important of all, employee engagement is also a key factor behind the environmental policies that the hotel has in order to further attain the hotel goals. I hope students that as you hear this explainer video about the importance 
of sustainability and hospitality industry in the near f uh, future when you become a hotel or resort managers i hope that you will implement this um, strategic approach not just to save um, expenses or money of our hotel resort but also as an in a responsible individual who will uh, protect our mother earth so thank you and once again don't forget to study this explainer video because this is one of the coverage of your final examinations thank you